Excuse me, Mr. Abdul, but can I have a word with you? What is it you want to discuss, my good sir? It's about my daughter Jackie. What about her? It's about you punishing her for taking time off school from when she was in that car accident. How dare you punish her for something that wasn't her fault? Calm down, sir. I was just doing my job, and she did violate the school rules, so therefore she must be punished for doing so. What are you talking about? I'm talking about taking time off school without good reason. It's against the rules and your daughter broke those rules, so now she must be punished. Are you dumb or something? Are you saying that her being involved in a car accident and spending three weeks in intensive care fighting for her life and then having to get over the trauma and having physiotherapy to learn to walk again isn't a good enough excuse? I don't know. Well let me tell you something Mr. Abdul, that was a good enough reason for her to taking time of school. She was very traumatized by the whole ordeal and we also lost her. She's been having counseling for us and she still has nightmares about it so she's still pretty traumatized and what do you do? Punish her for it. What the hell is wrong with you? I would appreciate it if you didn't speak in that manner. I was just doing my job. What? Punishing a 14 year old girl for going through a traumatic experience? She failed to attend school for three months without good reason and must be punished. I don't care what the excuse is. She still broke the rules. Oh my freaking god how ignorant are you? I've just told you why she didn't come to school. Didn't you even listen to what I said? Of course I did, but it's still not good enough. She shouldn't have gotten herself into that car crash. It's her own fault for getting in the car in the first place. Oh my god oh my god oh my god are you freaking serious right now you brain dead packy. How was we supposed to know that we was going to be in a car accident that would leave our 14 year old fighting for her damn life? Still not good enough. Now I suggest you leave and remind your daughter that she has a detention with me tomorrow and that's the first of many to come for the next 6 months. You know what, I am not going to tell her she has a detention tomorrow. In fact, I'm taking her out of this school and finding her another one because it's plainly obvious you don't give a damn about whether she's been through a traumatic ordeal. You're just a sad lonely man whose job has gone to their heads. Goodbye you miserable old fart and I'm also reporting you to the school board for unfair punishment. Try all you want, the school will just back me up. Now get out before I call the police. So, how did it go with Mr. Abdul? Not good. I tried to explain but he wouldn't listen. He said you've got to do your six months after school detention. Oh man. This is so unfair. None of this was my fault. I know. It's not. That's why you're not going back. What? I'm taking you out at school and finding you somewhere better. It just wasn't right that Mr. Abdul was punishing you for something that wasn't your fault and saying it was your fault. What? He said it was my fault for being in that crash. Yes, he did. He said you shouldn't have gone in the car in the first place. But... We didn't know the crash was going to happen, it wasn't our fault, it was that person who drove into us when he was driving on the wrong side of the road. I know, it wasn't your fault, but don't worry, you'll never have to go back to that shithole school ever again.